The fan we are wiring is a Panasonic Whisper Green Select FV0511 VK SL1. This fan has a multi speed timer pre installed. The scenario we have is we have a one gang box with a single pull switch controlling the fan and light at the same time. We will be grabbing power from the attic for constant power at the fan. Put in a motion sensor to achieve spot ventilation. To switch the light on and off, we will use the existing wire going to the old fan. Okay, we're at the old the old switch that ran the fan and light up there at the same time. In this case, we're not going to do any rewiring in the box. We're going to leave this switch and then the, the wire going to the attic up to that fan. We're going to take it directly to the light and use that to switch the light on and off. So some simple places to grab power in the attic when you're up there to look for would be if you had a house with a knee wall, uh, an outlet in that knee wall is a very good place to try to grab power from. The second spot would be if you had a light in that attic and it has a pull chain receptacle on it. Typically there is constant power there. That's a good spot to grab power from. A, any kind of a junction box, if you can figure out that there's constant power there, that would be a good spot. Or if you could get to the garage door opener, that's usually a really good spot to try to grab uh, constant power out of. Okay, we're back up here in the attic. This is the old fan uh, that was existing in the house. We're going to now remove the wiring from it and we're going to use this wire in the new fan to totally operate the light. So we just need to simply unhook this, move it over to the light of the new fan, I'm going to go ahead and hook those up, get those wires taken care of, then it'll be less confusing with the other wires bouncing around. So, you see the two that go solely to the light. We're going to take and put the neutrals together first here. Hook in our common wire. Now we're going to grab a wire from one of our attic sources that we talked about a little bit ago. Now this wire will solely take constant power to that fan. So we're going to hook up the ground wires first. up the common to the fan. Or the neutral to the fan I mean. And now we're going to hook up the common to the fan. We've got those connected so now we have switched power to the light, we have constant power to the fan, we have the red signal wires here which have already get, already capped those off individually. You don't want to put those together. We're not going to use them in this scenario. They're just going to get capped off and tucked back in the fan in case later on somebody wants to use those. So, <clears throat> so as soon as the breakers kick back on, we'll have constant power to the fan. It'll be operated by the motion sensor for spot ventilation and the continuous run timer and then the, the, the light will be switched separately.